Good morning, it's Rob Dewar reporting in from Mirabel. Uh, give you a quick update on the C-Series program. So since the uh, last update, uh, we actually, as you know, have had a finding on the engine uh, test program. You know, we do test uh, rigorously to the limits to find uh, any issues so that when we deliver the aircraft uh, to service with our customers that it's mature and, and ready to go. So right now we're in the process of uh, validating the, uh, the engine modifications with Pratt and as soon as that's done we'll be back up in the air and uh, into the flight test program. We've taken the opportunity to upgrade the aircraft with the latest software and uh, making improvements to the aircraft. Uh, since the last update basically uh, we have uh, flown FTV4 and entered the program cleanly and as you know that's a performance aircraft so uh, once we get back in the air it's ready to roll. Um, what I'm going to do is give you uh, a quick uh, turn over to uh, Chuck Ellis, our chief uh, flight test pilot we will give you a little bit more, uh, I'd say, insight and details from the pilot's perspective of how the C-Series flies and uh, also the performance from, from his point of view. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is uh, Chuck Ellis. I'm the chief test pilot for Bombardier and the lead pilot on the C-Series uh, program. The first question that a pilot will always ask is, how does it fly? And this airplane, I really really think that it flies very, very nicely. In terms of the performance for the airplane, uh, the takeoff is effortless, the climb is very good. We can climb, we've had the airplane to its maximum altitude already. Uh, we're expanding the high-speed envelope. Um, we've also been, uh, been working on the slow speed envelope of the airplane as well. The stalls are being very, very good. Far beyond what any airline crew will ever see, of course, or hopefully. Uh, but the characteristics in the stall, both the engines and the, the airframe have been very, very nice. Uh, starting with um, FDV-5, uh, we actually just completed the, it's called the EMI, that's the Electromagnetic Interference and Lightning Test. Uh, those results are just finishing and they look great, so we've passed all those tests. Uh, the next step for FTV5 will be to go to the paint shop and install the interior. And of course, uh, this aircraft will enter the flight test program later this year. Uh, we have also have exciting progress on FTV7, that's the first CS300. Uh, we've now completed the assembly of the CS300. We've also powered on the aircraft a number of weeks ago and uh, we're progressing this aircraft to hand it over to the uh, flight test uh, team and also get it into the flight test program uh, later this year. Um, also on the first production aircraft, basically is now structurally complete and we're in the process of installing the systems and getting it ready as well for the flight test program. Great. On a structural uh, test program, I can uh, now confirm that we're uh, basically over 80% complete, the structural testing, uh, that's uh, great news so far, no major findings and we're on track to complete the testing uh, this year. We're also uh, commissioning now uh, the uh, fatigue and damage tolerance articles, all also progressing to track, so uh, really good progress on, uh, on that side. Uh, facilities, we're actually uh, on track uh, to move into new facilities uh, later this summer. Uh, that's exciting for everyone in the program. Uh, to really uh, make the move, get in and uh, get set for the long term. So as you heard from Chuck, uh, pilots are very excited uh, and satisfied with the performance of the aircraft and the handling, uh, as you heard directly from our chief uh, flight test pilot. Uh, results look great, we're absolutely on track with our fuel burn, uh, we're on track with our stall performance, so that means that the uh, takeoff and landing uh, performance actually confirmed now. Uh, the noise and emissions also uh, on track, so really excited that uh, we can confirm all our performance to date is uh, really as we had planned from the beginning of the design. So as you know, we'll compl uh, complete the validation of the, uh, of the engine, uh, modified engine testing in the coming weeks and uh, we'll return to the flight test program. And uh, we are, of course, still on track, uh, as we said, to the entry into service in the second half of, uh, of 2015. So stay tuned and uh, we'll keep you updated as we uh, progress on the program. Thank you.